So a couple of people on the forums have been talking about how much fuel it takes to get uh, the 890 jump out of the atmosphere and into space. So I am going to demonstrate the quickest and most fuel efficient way to get the ship into space. Turn on power and, and engines, and then we are going to call the landing service to have them open the doors. The view from this uh, helm seat is pretty, pretty incredible for being a capital ship. Considering the Idris helm is basically looking at a uh, strut. All right, doors are open. I'm gonna go ahead and just start going up. That's all we're doing. We're going up. We're going to clear these boundaries. Oh, there's somebody else pulling another 890 out. We're going to clear these boundaries, just going up. And as soon as we have enough space to start moving forward, that's what we're going to start doing. So we're picking up speed. We are no longer in hover mode and now we can start our ascent. What really f uses all the fuel on this ship is the uh, not the main engines. I mean obviously the main engines still use a lot but what uses the most is trying to keep the the front of the ship level so when it's in hover mode it uses a lot. So we're going to get this thing up to uh, about an 80 to 85 percent or 85 uh, degree angle here. And we're just basically going straight up, almost straight up. You can see our altitude is climbing. Our speed is gradually increasing as we gain altitude. Speed limits are set by the size of the ship. I guess that would help if I bring up my uh, landing gear. Uh, it's set by the size of the ship and the altitude the ship is currently at. So simply flying in a straight line will never... Uh, you're going to hit basically a terminal velocity and not be able to go any faster than that. Now as we go higher and higher, our speed is starting to climb faster and faster. We have only used 6% of our fuel. We're at 22,000 altitude. Great, they actually fixed the uh, the draw distance. Every time uh, you tried to go into this view, certain angles, the view would appear hollow and you could see through it. And the glass would uh, no longer be tinted, so it would look like you were just a big fish tank. see we are almost at max speed. The max speed in this ship is 900. We've used 10% of our fuel. We are at 64,000 altitude.
and we have maxed out our speed so now it's just maintaining and I think we have done it we are no longer in atmosphere we can cut engines and we still have 89% of our fuel left Uh, this works in, I wouldn't say every ship, because I haven't tried it on every ship. I don't fly the Starfarer, and last time I flew one of those, it was a major pain in the ass to get it out of atmosphere. So, may not apply to the uh, Starfarer. However, um, this works with all the other bigger ships. Hammerhead, 600i, it works. And it saves fuel, it gets you there quick, no problems. Hopefully you found this helpful.